Only in the movies do you see someone jumping in the water to rescue someone in danger. In real life, there are a few rules that you need to follow. First, you must reach, throw, row, go with an aid like this, and if you're a real professional, then you can tow. Just knowing some of these basic rules can prevent disaster. Though it may be difficult to see loved ones in danger, venturing out without proper training is never recommended. Body-to-body -body contact life saving should be done by a trained, qualified individual. It is very serious. Right? People don't, if you're not trained in it and you don't know what you're doing, you don't get involved in body-to-body -body contact. With incidents like the flu tower tragedy still on the minds of many, Lieutenant Jean Petit says, despite obvious needs for life jacket when going out to sea, being able to remain calm and improvise in emergencies is equally important. For instance, if you're on a boat or a pirogue and a pirogue turns over, generally, generally a pirogue will not sink. So you should stay with the pirogue. Right? You should go to sea, make sure you have life jackets or other flotation devices. And being able to think on your feet like that comes with training and practice. So one of the first things taught in a basic life-saving class is how to spot and deal with threats in the water. Um, sometimes they don't pay enough attention to the like, water safety surroundings. So they may take things as for granted. So what we try to do is try to educate them to be aware of their surroundings and in the water, in and around the water. One, two, three, four, five, six. Many classes like this one here in the Center of Excellence teach the theory of resuscitation even before entering the water and what to do once you pull your victim out of it. Um, basic life saving would help in some instances. Um, it's like when you surround as you're in, um, you have aids available, whether a uh, ice cooler, a ball, a piece of stick, a piece of wood. If you're not accustomed in the water or swimming, you can use those items best by training for them, reaching for them, and pulling them to safety instead of actually going into the water. Man drowning, man drowning. So I'm gonna throw this board to you. I want you to take it and kick towards me. The classes teach you how to spot a victim and which rescue fits which particular scenario. Sometimes all it takes is a helping hand. The less contact you make with a victim, the better. Here, the rescuers are using a t shirt to tow their victim. But while all of this may look simple, it should not be attempted without some level of training. So, whether you're in a pool or at a beach, there are three basic skills you should always have handy know how to swim, know basic life saving, and most importantly, know how to have fun. Kijan Haynes, C News.